Hunt in an interview on Tuesday. Hunt said, I can assure you that both myself and members of the Franklin County Sheriff's Office did everything possible with the information that we had at the time to alert the authorities as to the situation regarding Mr. Agee. At no time did we have any indication that Mr. Agee was capable of such a horrific act. Right. All right. Um, kind of interesting. Going, the, I understand that the Franklin News Post is reporting uh, some of the insights to a possible uh, text conversation where was it AG's ex-wife was um, talking to his current wife saying that they were still an item? That is correct. Well, look at my news story that I have. Give me one second to pull that up from uh, yesterday's report here. Right. According to the search warrant that was filed with the court in the, in the homicide investigation, AG claimed... You there, Bruce? We'll try to connect up with Bruce in a few moments. Moss Bruce, so we'll, we'll come back to that in a second. Hello? Yes, you're on. You're, hello? Hey, Charles. Yes. Bruce was claiming that AG had claimed that uh, his, his ex wife was texting his, phone, his current wife right now and that AG and her were still having relations. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Well, it happens. Uh, you know, the sad part is, Charles, you want to forgive you a heart for allowing somebody that he knew it had a weapon, had a license carry weapon in the police car to go to a store where he could have went off and did a, a, a collar bind. He could have shot more people than her. Mm -hmm. So what gives him the right to cheat the law and not call 911 and put that APB out on that car? Now what's the latest on this Facebook page? What are people saying? Uh, what they're saying is that, you know, we need to start looking at this stuff. You know, we forgive them because it doesn't affect us. But when you got people, Charles, just like in Henry County, you remember a couple of years back, this cop, this sheriff deputy was dating this girl, and she made these accusations about he assaulted her or something else? Yeah. Okay. Uh, from my understanding, there's three current relationships over there that's on Rocket 2 that's living in separate houses. Yeah. And we're living in a time where uh, financial stress is hitting everybody. Everybody's cheating. Everybody's trying to stay afloat. You know what I mean? Essentially, let me see if I can make contact back with Bruce here one more time. Interesting. Um, you, you wonder if that's enough motive. We are here right now, Charles. All right, so we're, we're talking about the. This really gets confusing. We have the, the ex wife texting the current wife saying we're still an item. Is that right? That seems to be where uh, what said Jonathan A.G. all based on the search warrants that have been filed. Right. Right. And, you know, it's, it's usually sex, money, or drugs that brings people down and, and it looks like